What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. Today, we're back at Copart for another walk around. Let's jump into this video and see what we find. I know, boring, plain Jane Kias and Hyundais, right? I know, guys. 2024 Hyundai Elantra. I told you in some previous videos, I'm actually looking to buy repossession cars. In fact, we were looking at this one in the previous video. And believe it or not, Hyundais are great cars. I know, you hear all the horrible things about them, engines exploding and the Kia boys, and they get a bad rap for some of this stuff. You gotta remember, even when they had that massive engine problem, they did a recall, and I think gave an extended warranty, where if you had engine problems, Kia slash Hyundai would take the vehicle and drop a brand new engine in it for you, uh, free of charge. A lot of people, including you guys may remember my friend Austin Carr, he bought, and this is the crazy deal. Austin bought a salvaged, hail-damaged Hyundai Elantra. And even with a salvaged title, when his engine went out, he was able to take it back to Kia Hyundai, and they put a brand new engine in that car for him. And to my knowledge, that car still runs and drives to this day. Now, being a 2024, this is new. Are you serious? Oh, this is, uh, this breaks my heart. This breaks my heart. So I'm noticing as soon as I get in, this smells this, this smells brand new. This smells brand new. Um, I'm noticing over here, we've got stickers for a brand new car. They never peel the stickers. Oh, Automax Hyundai, that's local, that's right down the street. It's got the books. You wanna know the part that breaks my heart though, guys? The miles. Can you see it? Probably not. Let me get you a little bit closer. How about now? 499 miles. They, they never even got to drive the car before it got repossessed. That's a shame. It comes with both key fobs too. Oh my goodness, man. Even the key fobs still have the stickers on them. <laughs> oh, that's sad. Oh, wow. This is a, hold on, this is a, a Hyundai? Are you serious? Really? I haven't been in one lately, I guess, guys. Uh, honestly, lately I've been avoiding Hyundais and Kias because I had a lot of you tell me you just don't like them. You're not interested in it. You don't want to see them. Um, really, this is a repossession. It is from Hyundai Capital. So here's what I'm wondering. Could this be? No. I'm, I'm thinking, could this like be a repossession from a car lot? Surely not. Surely not. And actually, you know what? It could be. Because Automax Hyundai, they have a new sign out in front of their building now. It doesn't say Automax Hyundai in front of the dealership anymore. It says something else. It's not Automax Hyundai. Now it's like uh, hail something. I mean, their signs have been replaced with like these weird hail signs, hail damage sale signs. I don't know. Could they have gone out of business? Maybe. Backwards? Yes. For I will. If I buy this, I'm not selling it. You know what I mean? That's the problem. It's a brand, it's a brand new Hyundai. I'm not selling this. Are you kidding me? I mean, yeah, everything's going to work, guys. There's no doubt about it. Everything is going to work on this. This is literally a brand new car, 499 miles. I don't think it was repossessed from the dealer, guys. I don't. I think this is probably something... I, I, I'm guessing somebody bought it, and then they just couldn't pay for it. I mean, they must have missed their first payment. You know what I mean? They, they must have missed their first payment on this thing. What all do we have here? All menus. We got phone, phone projection. Did somebody program their device to it, I wonder? Can we see? Is there, is there any way to see if somebody's phone has been programmed? Device connections. Let's see. Bluetooth connections. No devices paired. Really? Nothing has been paired to this yet. This it, really is like, this is a brand new car. This is a brand new car. USB-C, USB-A, then you've got your old school 12 volt uh, charger right there, 180 watt? From a 12 volt? You could literally plug 
an inverter into this. 180 watts? Holy crap. Oh, the Monroney sheet is in here, all folded up and trashed. Yeah. Wow. Let's see what the price of this was. What do you guys think? Before you before you see it, what do you think? It's in sport mode. I must have just hit a button. Sport, smart, normal. Yeah. I'm going to guess, and I want you to see it's still folded up. I haven't looked at it yet. Okay, I'm going to guess... 39 that no i'm kidding i'm gonna guess i mean it's a pretty basic model car i'm gonna guess maybe what 20 22 let's take a look let's unfold this and see what they claim the the if i could get it unfolded that would help i'm thinking 20 i was close hey i was close total price twenty three thousand three hundred and fifteen dollars I mean, that's not bad. You're, that's not bad at all. $23,000 for a brand new car that comes with a 10-year, 100,000-mile warranty. Not bad. Five-star crash safety rating. Yep, five-year, 60 new vehicle warranty. 10-year, 100,000-mile powertrain warranty. Seven-year anti-perforation warranty. Three-year complimentary maintenance. What? Three-year, 36,000-mile complimentary maintenance. Five-year, unlimited-mile roadside assistance. Advanced safety technology, forward collision, blah, blah, blah. 2.0 liter with auto start-stop, 15-inch wheels, LED headlights, LED. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. No joke. <laughs> For 23... <laughs> I hate to say this, guys. I'm about to go buy a Hyundai. I'm about to go. I'm gonna go trade something. I don't know what I got, but I'm about to go trade something in on new Hyundai. Uh, I didn't know. I really didn't know. I knew about the warranty, which is you know that's great. The warranty's fine and everything. Um, I didn't realize these were such nice cars. If there's the floor mats. You've got the uh, the more expensive, the upgraded trunk liner right here. That, they probably charge an extra $500 for that. You know, added to the price, you got a spare tire. A real tire. Yeah, it's a cheap car, you know. You will not get any attention at all driving around in a Hyundai or a Kia. And that's fine. That is perfectly fine. I still think this is a slick-looking car, man. Slick-looking car. I mean, this thing's not even due for an oil change or anything yet. Nothing. Somebody's had to jumpstart it, though. Battery went dead. It's got spider webs under the hood. Are you... This could be, honestly, out of all the cars that I've looked at out here, I know it's probably the least interesting of them all, but I'm going to be honest with you guys, this is probably going to be the best deal you're going to find out here. Probably the best deal. This is a brand new car. Brand new car that if you went to the dealership right now, this car is going to run you $23,000 plus all the added crap they're going to try to charge. This is a repo. It's not perfect. I've seen a couple imperfections. I don't know where they went. There's a ding there, parking lot ding there, ding there, ding there. It's got some scrapes over here, like something was just rubbing all up and down this. So the paint is not 100%. This car is like 90%. You know what I mean? 90%. But it's no longer new. This is now a used car. It's no longer worth $23,000, even though this is still, it's brand new. It's not a new car anymore. It's already been devalued and it's a repossession now. This, of all the cars I've looked at, laugh at me if you want to, this is it guys. This is the one that I want more than any of the others. Um, I will use the hell out of this. Are you kidding me? I will be driving this thing constantly. Saving on fuel. I have no idea what kind of fuel economy it gets. I assume it's pretty damn good. I didn't even bother looking. Let's take a look. Fuel economy. I wish they hadn't. 36. What? 3241? Really? <laughs> I'm sold. I did not come here looking to buy a Hyundai. In fact, I came here intentionally trying to avoid the Hyundais and Kias, but I saw this one. I was like, I love this car. Two key fobs. Yeah, you can bet money, guys. I would drive this around as a great little commuter car, save a ton of gas, 
and you're going to get it for a much better price and you're going to be able to find it for at the dealership this is one of those very rare finds this is like you never find these you never come out here and find clean title brand new cars with 499 miles on them never that you're going to be able to save a ton of money on because it's used and it's a repossession all right let's continue obviously we're not interested in this it's going to be hard to beat that kia guys this is a remarketing it's going to be really hard or that hyundai i'm sorry it's going to be it's going to be exceptionally difficult to beat the deal on that hyundai right there this is a remarketing nice little lexus though I, that is absolutely on my watch list a hundred percent on my watch list guys um i don't know what i'll do with it it literally needs nothing other than to just be driven i'll probably just drive it i'll drive it for a while and then when i'm ready i'll sell it all right i'm gonna get off of that hyundai now let's let's talk about this lexus it is a remarketing and i said it's gonna try to stay away from these but this one's actually a pretty decent looking lexus seats are in good shape what year is this 2013 this is older really it looks very modern i would say this aged very well this is a this is a nice Lexus. Outside temperature, 78 degrees. Yeah, it's hard to beat that, guys. It's, it's, it's really hard to beat that. Look at that old IDE hard drive. Are you serious? System loading. Don't turn the power off. Wow. I haven't seen an IDE hard drive. I, I can't even tell you how long it's been. Um, cup holders. You got nice, cooled seats and heated. Got some water bottle. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hold on. We got a... Is this a gift card? Dang it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I, I don't eat at Taco Bueno very often anyway, guys. Very rarely. Oh, the ventilated seats work. We have a TPMS light. Miles, 129,915. Some people would say that's nothing for a Toyota. I'm sorry, a Lexus. Back up. Yep. Forward. Yep, brakes, yep, steering, yep, important window, less important window, yes on both counts, sunroof, still there, yep, very nice, I don't tend to test out the sunroofs guys, it, I've had experiences where you open them and then they don't want to close and you have to fight them to get them closed, I ain't trying to leave or mess up somebody's car, you know what I mean? Cup holder, it smells so good in here, if you guys have never ridden in a Lexus, you just don't know. Uh, there's something about the, I'm guessing the leather that they use in, in, in the Lexus Toyotas. It's just got its own wonderful scent, man. It smells so good. Big glove box. You could put a kid in there. Are you serious? You could put a child in that glove box. Good night. Cold air conditioning. The ventilated seats are ice cold. This is nice. I really wasn't trying to look at any of these remarketing ones. You got this weird, though, this... Uh, Oh, it beeps when you... Oh, it's a mouse. I get it. Do you see it moving around? It moves around with my finger here. Okay. That's interesting. <laughs> I don't know what else... That's something. So you take your finger and... Ah, I get it. it, it it's a little weird at first, and it's definitely a little clunky. Not bad, though. Not bad. Climate control? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can deal with this. I can deal with this. Info, apps, setup, radio, media, climate. This really is not too bad. Like, at first, it's a little like, eh. But once you use it for, like, 10 seconds, you really adapt to it quickly. Yeah. And then you go to, uh, I guess, go back to maps, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, okay. Just push the map button. It takes you right back to the uh, to the GPS. This is nice. Let's pop the hood. Let's take a gander what she's working with under there. I'm going to roll this window down just in case it decides to lock itself on us. I'm going to take a little bit closer look at this one. I was not trying to be interested in this today. But I can't help... Oh, well, there, there's... Uh, okay. It's all plastic. I mean, there's part of the engine. It's a 2GRFE. I have no idea what that means. I'm guessing it's like a little 2.5 liter V6. 
A 2G RFE? I have no idea, guys. Uh, not my cup of tea. 2013. Older, but I really do like this. Um, yeah, as far as the engine size, I don't know. It's a 3.5 liter. There it is. 3.5 liter. It's missing all of the little push pins. They're all, every one of them. Like, all of the push pins are missing under the hood. Still, she runs quiet. Sounds good. Seems like everything works. Good tires. Falcon on the front. That's a good brand. What we've got on the back here. Falcon as well with excellent tread. A little bit of damage here. Let's see how this works. Should be auto open. No? Oh, it doesn't open at all. Probably because it's running. Yeah, Falcons all the way around. A lot of scrapes, scratches. You know, this, this is a used vehicle. Ooh, big dent in the fender there. Overall, though, nice looking used car, guys, for sure. This is something I'd be proud not only to own and to drive, but I'd be proud to sell this. Not a problem. Not a problem at all. Great commuter car right here. You got three different seat memories. That is nice. This is a 2013. Like, this is old, guys. <laughs> 2013. 130,000 miles. Runs like a top. Didn't even need a jump start. This one is for sure going on the list. All right, let's see what else they got out here, guys. Oh, an old Honda Accord. One main financial. 05. She's a little bit older than I'd like to buy. Honest to God, guys, I'm really thinking about transition. Not obviously, I want to make this clear. I don't want people to think I'm transitioning my whole channel to uh, to buying cars, you know, new cars to try to fix up or clean up and resell. That's not it. I'm just trying to add something new to the channel. Um, and that new part is I don't want to buy like this would not be something that I would buy to fix up and try to flip. It's an 05 Honda Accord. It doesn't look to be in the greatest of condition. Probably got some high miles. This is one of those that you're going to pay for the, after the fees and premiums and everything. And it's going to end up costing you a fortune. This isn't something that I would look at and think I'm going to make some money off of it. But it could be a decent car nonetheless. Eh, well, hmm. Yeah, it looks like there's blood all over the back seat and the floor. Uh... Oh no, no, no. I can, that song comes to mind, you know, that oh no, oh no, 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 whatever. Tone deaf right now, guys. You know the song, it used to be all over the place. If this doesn't start, I'm not, no, no, no. If it doesn't start on its own, that is blood. I'm, s no, right? That's not blood. That's not blood, that's, that's mud or something. It's too thick, there's too many places where it's, it's just too thick. Either way, no. You know, if I can find an old car for a cheap price for the channel, we can see if we can get it running or whatever. That's fine. But that's not going to be part of this new uh, experiment that I'm trying where I want to buy things. You know, newer cars within, you know, I don't know, 10, 12 years old and see if we can't get them going and clean them up and maybe make a little money off of them. Uh, but like I said, that's not going to be the whole channel, guys. It's just something new I'm trying to see if it's something y'all are interested in. So please leave your comments below and let me know. Let's see what else we got over here. I saw this Genesis. Looks like it needs a front bumper. Probably needs more than that. This is Fleet Response. Oh, oh, the handles are all gone. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> are you serious? They glue the spoilers on these? Those are double-sided tape. Oh, wow. Okay. No. No, no, no. Uh, Med Ride. I'm looking around, guys. I'm trying to find the repossessions. Avis Rent a Car. No, not interested in those either. I used to think back in the day that the rental cars were going to go really cheap. And I was very wrong about that, guys. I was very wrong. It really surprised me. The rental cars actually go for pretty good money. Why? I have no idea. Um, but they do go for pretty good money. So I avoid the rental cars as well. Westlake Services again. Hold on, what is going on here? Westlake Services, and it's another 2020, this is a 2021 Hyundai Elantra. Looks just like the one. What? This looks just like the one. That, ooh, well, it's got a little damage. It's a little older, it's got some damage, it's got higher mileage. 
something impacted this door here. I guarantee that door could be fixed. This is not a bad looking car, but this Westlake Services has got me kind of confused here. This one is definitely, you know, it's older. It's got 39,000 miles on it, but it's the same Westlake Services that we saw before. So I don't... No, the other one was Hyundai Capital. The other one was Hyundai Capital. That's right. It was not Westlake Services. So maybe this is another repossession. I'm willing to take a look at it, but honestly, I'm I'm pretty well sold on the on the 2024. Oh, 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 wow. What happened to you? Was this under this underwater? Oh yeah. Ooh. Oh yeah. The water line came over the seats. You can clearly see mud. They lifted up the carpets to try to help it dry. There's sand and dirt. You could see mud and stuff in the body control module. Hell, there's even sand and mud in the upper parts of the door here. So the water line in this was ridiculously high. This was, oh, hell. You could see on the screen where the water line was. If you take a good look at it, you see at the right angle, about right there. Looks like the water line came up to about here. This whole interior was underwater. Look at that. Yeah. Ugh. If you're wondering how it smells, well, <laughs> putrid. That's a good word. Putrid. It smells absolutely horrible. So somebody drowned this car. <laughs> Look at the sticks on the frame rail. Literally sticks. Um, should we check the oil? Let's, I'm just, I'm just curious. Uh, I am just curious how, oh, let's see. Yeah, the oil's a tad bit overfilled there, guys. Just a, just a little bit. Yeah, this car is, uh, this is finished. That's unfortunate. These are really nice little cars. There's even a stick up here. Look at this. And you can see this computer was completely, everything up here was covered. All of this was underwater. Wow. All right, let's see what else we can find. Any more repos over here? Chrysler? No, that's a vehicle remarketing firm. Oh, I like this Nissan. This thing's huge. Bridgecrest Acceptance. So this is going to be a repo right here, guys. I'm willing to take a look at this. 2017 Nissan Armada SV. The wheel is off of the rim. And the tire's trash. Like, this thing's got horrible tires. Yeah, these tires are bad. This thing's... The body's not bad, but it's these tires that have me concerned. This thing was riding around on bald tires. If you can't put tires on your car, then it really just makes me question what other maintenance were you neglecting? You know what I mean? That's uh, not very promising, but this fits exactly what I'm talking about for the channel. A new direction to go with some of the vehicles. I notice the back end is on the ground. This is a perfect example of what I'm talking about. It may run fine. It may have some neglected maintenance, needs tires, a little bit of work, maybe an alignment, some suspension components, who knows, a little cleaning here and there. But ultimately, if it's a decent runner and hopefully a decent driver, it's something that we might be able to clean up and turn into a nice little, a nice little flip car for the channel. Yeah, it definitely needs a cleaning. That's all sticky. That's like soda pop and stuff all stuck down there. Does it have books and stuff too? It does. It even comes with some sunglasses, guys. Look at this. Two pair of women's sunglasses. How about that? Let's see if it runs. No key? Oh, no. Come on. No key. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Well, that's unfortunate. You got some socks and some armor roll. That sucks. I feel like this should open, like this top piece here should open, but I guess it doesn't. Or this piece comes out? I don't know. No, it doesn't. You got heated seats, nice little screen, V8, but uh, without keys, none of that's gonna do us any good, guys. So we'll just have to put it on the watch list, I guess, and hope that maybe they get keys to it. If not, I'm, I'm, I guess, let's pop the hood. 
just in case, let me see if it doesn't, if they don't end up getting keys to it, I'm going to take it to the dealer. But I'd, I'd be willing to take a chance on this one. I'll bet it runs. I'll bet it runs. Everything under here looks like it's intact. The brake fluid, well, it's a big, big reservoir. My goodness. Uh, fluid looks pretty clean in the brake, so that's always good. Let's check the, check the oil. Oil's clean and very full. Oil looks great. I guarantee you this runs. Guarantee you this runs. Let's double check on the mileage real quick. Does it even pop up without a key? Um, I don't think it does. So 6 of 24, 104,000 miles being serviced by the Cooper Auto Group, which is good. That's a high-end place. No key. It won't tell us the actual mileage on this. That sucks. Can we push the... No. It won't tell you anything. Nothing at all. No. Nothing at all. Okay. I guarantee you guys, this runs. Guarantee it does. So, we'll keep that on the list. Let's continue looking at Buick. Um, not really all that interested in Buicks, but, you know, for the right price, maybe. No, it's a remarketing skip that one let me look around a little bit a little bit let me look around a little bit guys and see if i can find us something else you remember this one you do you so many of you so many of you said that i need to buy this this is from toyota financial services i'm not going to uh go over this car again um but i will just give you a quick walk around in case you missed the video uh she is just yeah you know, I think what happened was they knew that it was getting repoed. They knew they were losing the car. And they just went ham on it, man. Incognito. No. This, this is literally the opposite of the definition of incognito. Okay? It used to just be a white Toyota. That was incognito. Yeah, absolutely. This, that's, that's the opposite of incognito. Let's see what else we can find here, guys. Uh, 17, oh, that's, a re, that's a remarketing service. Like I said, trying to avoid those. Trying to stick with uh, repos. What is this? This is Chrysler Capital. There you go. So what do we got? A Honda. A, a Honda financed through Chrysler Capital. That's interesting. I do like the headlights. That, uh, that color shifting that they put on there, really nice. I actually really do like that. It's just a sticker. Or it used to be a sticker anyway, but I think that added something to it, man. That looked really, really good. The wheels, don't care for the wheels. Not one bit. I do not like them. I think they look weird. They look very awkward on this car. Bubbling tint in the rear window. See, this is perfect. This car needs a lot. <laughs> this car needs a lot. Needs a serious cleaning. Needs wheels and tires. Leather interior, though. Nice. Relatively newer car. It's a 2018. It's the EX, so you get the sunroof, leather interior, which actually looks pretty good. Does it have power? Oh, what happened? They took the converter. I think they took the converter. Yeah, something is emission system problem. You don't say. Avoid heavy acceleration and high speed. TPMS problem. You don't say. Yeah, we got we got a lot brake system. Oh, brake performance may be reduced. See your dealer. Brake hold system problem. Okay. Power steering problem. Flashing check engine light. Guys, this is this one. This one may be a little. You know. This. <laughs> This one's in bad shape. Uh, there, every warning that you can imagine is on on this. I mean, every warning that you could imagine is on this car right now. Uh, I thought being a little bit newer, this might not be too bad. It's a Honda. It's only got 106,000 miles on it, but it's also misfiring. Um, oh, wow. That's... That's, that's bad. 
that's that's real bad. Someone was putting all of their cigarettes and uh, and wacky tobacco out on the center console here. Just burned it. They didn't care. Yeah, they just yeah. This is a car that was heavily abused, but you get a lot of pennies if you buy the car. You get a whole bunch of pennies. Oh, and uh, and lights, lots of little strip lights. That's perfect. I don't know why I'm looking at this engine. I'm just curious. I already know that they chopped the converter off. So this one I thought was going to be a perfect example of a car that needed a lot of love that we could make some content on as well as, uh, you know, hopefully fix up, put back together and then resell. But I'm going to be honest with you, this one I think is too far gone. So they took out the factory air box and they just stuck this little cone filter and a little piece of silicon. That's... Oh, there's rat crap. Oh, wow. There's literally rat. That's not mice. Guys, this is rat poop. Oh, wow. Look at those turds. Those are humongous. All right, so she's had rats. Um, exhaust can't really see what's going on down there. I don't know if you guys can or not, but something is, uh, yeah, this, this one's just too much, guys. But you take into consideration, uh, number one, it's, it's had rats. That's a problem. Uh, number two, wheels and tires. Number three, body damage. Number four, tons of interior damage as well. And then all the lights, you got mechanical damage. This one, this is a perfect example of one that I don't care if it went for $500, I'd avoid it. So this is kind of interesting. This is another one of those Westlake services. I've got to figure out what this Westlake services is. This is a really nice looking BMW 3 Series. This is the GT. I had a, uh, a 5 Series GT, 2014 328 G uh, XI GT. So all wheel drive GT. Looks like 96,000 miles on the odometer. Windows are stuck down. Spoiler stuck up. So X-Drive GT. It's got that kind of hatchback look to it. The multifunction where it like opens this way or the hatch opens this way. Um, actually, that's not true. It opens either as an entire assembly, like a hatchback, or you can just lift the trunk and the trunk like opens right here or something. At least that's the way it was on mine. I don't think we can get into this one. No, they've got it all taped up. But if you can look inside there, do you see the mud? The whole interior covered, completely covered. And look inside the headlights, again, covered in mud. This thing was completely underwater. So you think it's a coincidence that this one is from Westlake? What is it called? Westlake Services, and it's flooded. And then that Hyundai that we looked at back there, also from Westlake Services and flooded. Not a coincidence, guys. And look, here's another one. Hold on, is this Westlake too? This is flooded. I guarantee you this is Westlake. It is Westlake Services, LLC. And take a look. The headlight, literally full of water. I mean, up to, what about right here? Oh, it's up to right here. The water line went from here, and it's down to about right there now. Full of all kinds of sludge and nastiness. Let's see if we can open this. Yeah, also underwater. Ooh, whoa, that's rank. Oh, wow. Yeah. Very interesting how all of these vehicles... Look how high that water line was. I mean, the water went over the seats, guys. How does this happen? What, what, what was it a car lot? Was it a bank? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Very strange to see so many. That's three now. Three flood cars from the same place all sitting here. So I can only assume that, you know, somehow a dealership got flooded out. It's the only thing that makes sense to me. We're not too far from being done, guys. Here's a nice little Toyota. I assume this is a Corolla. I'm not real big on Toyotas, guys, so forgive me if I'm wrong, but I'm, I'm fairly certain this is a, a newer model Corolla. I like the little car, and this is a repossession 2022 Toyota Corolla from Toyota Financial Services. Perfect. This is exactly what I'm looking for. Newer model cars. And, oh, no, 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 that's not what I wanted. Man. 
never fails. It never fails with me. If I find something I'm interested in, that means it's completely crunched on the other side, guys. It's going to be totally smashed. That sucks. <laughs> that sucks. That is just my luck, though. I saw this, and I was like, oh, man, this is perfect. I love the color. I love everything about it. What's the miles on it? 80,000? See, that's respectable. I could deal with that on a Toyota all day long, man. This was another perfect example of what I was looking for. A newer, but not new, model car, a Toyota, something name brand that's known for reliability. This was it. This was, this was what I was looking for. Um, and it's a repo. It was, it was perfect until it wasn't, but that's fine. We've got another one sitting over here. Maybe we'll have better luck with this one. Is this vehicle remarketing? See, these are the ones I'm trying to avoid. The remarketing ones, I'm just not, oh my God, what? Wow, really, only 97,000 miles. Oh boy, you've had a hard life. Uh, 2019 Toyota Corolla. Boy, you've had a hard life. Good Lord. I don't even understand how this happens. The bumper is all crunched up. It's, it's being held together with wood screws. It's missing the factory wheel and it's got, you know, this on the back. All of the seats are completely disgusting. It looks like somebody died 50, 11 times inside this car. Uh, wow. Wow, why would you, why would you do this to, so, uh, <laughs> I don't pretend to understand guys. I don't, I don't get it. Uh, that one, I don't, I don't, yeah. I mean, I know what you're thinking. Oh, just clean it up. I mean, it needs a lot more in a cleaning guys. It needs a lot more in a cleaning. This, or that is a factory wheel. It's just missing the hubcap. I don't know. It, it needs a front bumper, needs a front bumper clips. It's going to need paint. Uh, probably going to need tires. The interior, I don't even, I don't even want to get in this car, if I'm being completely honest with you. And this is a remarketing. See, it's not a repossession. And that's probably the biggest reason right there. If this was a remarketing, I mean, a, a repossession, I would be a lot more interested in it than I am as remarketing. Because like I said, these remarketing places, they're looking to flip. They're trying to make money. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the repos where the bank just wants to get out of them. You got a better shot at winning the bid. I'm going to tell you right now, guys, I've bid on so many cars out here and I lose them. Not because someone outbids me, but because the people that are selling them come back and they want too much. The market is soft. It's not good. But these, these people that are out here trying to flip these cars, they're into them for too much. A lot of these dealers are into these cars for too much. They can't sell them. So they send them to auction and they still can't sell them because they want too much money for them. So I end up being the high bidder and then they end up trying to negotiate with me and they want thousands more than the car is worth. I'm not paying it. Nobody else at the auction is paying it, but they won't let them go. That's why I want the repos. You have a much better chance going through a repo company, a financial institution that's just trying to liquidate the asset and collect their money. You got a better chance getting the car with them than you do trying to fight with these dealers that are trying to make a buck on these cars that they can't sell. All right, let's just take a quick run through the rest of these. There's only a few left out here and most of these are not things I'd be interested in. What happened there? Wow. GM Financial, this is a repo. I, I can tell you what happened. I can tell you what happened to this one. Uh, somebody caught the repo guy taking it and they came out angry. They came out swinging, man. That's like somebody, that's a blunt object. You're looking at like a baseball bat, don't you guys think? right through the windshield right there. Yeah, they saw that the repo guy, you can see the impact was on the outside of all of this because that's where the glass is all missing on the outside. Literally, guys, poor little Hyundai. This probably got damaged, honestly, by the tow truck guy having to repossess it. The poor car missing all of its paint. It's on a spare tire. The tow truck guy's doing his job. You know what I mean? Don't get me wrong. I, I've had cars repoed and I know that feeling of anger but that anger comes from a wrong place, guys. It comes from a place of blaming other people for your own problems and your own mistakes. You know what I mean? It's not the car's fault that you didn't pay your debt and it got repossessed. It's not the tow truck driver's fault that you didn't pay your debt and, it's, and it got repossessed. It is not the bank's fault that it got repossessed. You couldn't make your payments, right? Even if you got screwed, let's say you bought this car and it's 21% interest, you got shafted. 
Okay, I'm gonna tell you right now, you got shafted. No car, there is no car on the face of this planet you should be paying that kind of interest on, period. If that's the interest rate, you need to go find a cash car. Forget financing, that is in insane. So I get it, the interest rate's high. Well, you've got bad credit. Is that the bank's fault that you have bad credit and you can't be trusted? Or is that your fault that you have bad credit? and you can't be trusted. And also, at the end of the day, you knew what the interest rate was, you knew what the finance charges were, and you knew how much your monthly payments were. You alone signed to John Hancock on that contract. Not the bank, not the car dealership, not the car, you. People don't take responsibility for their own actions today. Responsibilities out the window, guys. Everybody blames everybody else for their problems. It's the bank's fault, it's the car's fault, it's the tow truck driver's fault, it's everybody's fault, but yours, right? That's how it is today. Times have changed, so I'm, I'm really, I think whoever owned this car, they saw it getting repoed, they came out and just started beating the hell out of it with a baseball bat. That's a shame. That's, and here's the thing, <laughs> the bank's never gonna get their money. Right, you know that, I know that. The bank's never gonna get their money. But the thing is though, is like if these people cared at all about their financial situation, well, they probably wouldn't have bought the car to begin with. But if they cared at all, they would not be out here smashing up a car because what the bank has to do now by law, is they have to sell it. They're gonna sell it at an auction to the high bidder. Then they're gonna take whatever that money is that they get for the car, they're gonna deduct it from what you owed on the car. At which point the remaining balance is still owed by you. They're gonna come after you for the money. If you have a job, they're gonna garnish your wages. If you file taxes and you get a refund, they're gonna intercept your tax return. You are not hurting the bank by smashing the car. Maybe in the short term. The bank is gonna continue charging you interest for as long as they are legally allowed to on the entire debt that is still owed. By smashing the car, you just cost yourself more money. It makes no sense. This poor car, what year is this? It's a, it's a 2017 Sonata. It used to be white, a quick Mako paint job. I mean, it'd make quick work of making this car look good again. Um, interior, it smells very wet. Well, yeah, obviously, I just, I forgot that the windshield was missing. So all the water has gone down the air conditioner vents and into who knows what. So this is, a, this is one I wouldn't touch. Uh, I didn't see that either. Hail damage all over. I don't mind bad paint. I don't mind that it needs tires and, and I don't mind that it needs a windshield. That's all stuff I can handle for cheap. It's not a big deal. A bumper for a Hyundai, not a big deal. But at the end of the day, uh, severe hail damage, that's a whole nother ball game. And the fact that water has now intruded into the cabin of the car behind the dashboard, into wiring and vents, and there's probably mold and mildew. No, no way, man. No way, not gonna do it. <laughs> Something tells me this might be a repo too. Let's take a look. Yeah, one main financial. <laughs> I, just, I had a hunch. I, I had a hunch. I don't know if it was the Gorilla Tape holding the front bumper on, the completely crunched car. What? what if, yeah, okay. So this is a 2016 Toyota Avalon. Wow. They've got tape holding pieces of the mirror together. Uh, this whole side is trash. The, the, I mean, from the bumper, the fender, the door, the door, the dog leg, it's, it's trash. With that said, if this is where the damage stops, it could be saved. I wouldn't try to fix these doors or that fender. Replace the fender, replace the bumper, replace the doors, get the dog leg worked out. That could be fixed, but wait. Oh, something ran down the top of this. They ran under something. It scraped the trunk. It scraped the entirety of the roof. Oh my gosh. It's crunched back here. The trunk is broken. See, a another example, this, no way, man. No, oh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. No. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Ain't doing it. <laughs> I didn't even see the... <laughs> oh, my... Okay. All right. Uh, I'm not having a whole lot of luck. A lot of these repos, guys, they're just in bad shape, man. They're they're in really bad shape. This is a remarketing. I'm going to ignore that one, too. Uh, Kia Santander Consumer Finance. Oh boy. Um, nope, it's wrecked. It's wrecked. Oh, this one still has, this one's got somebody's purse. Or no, that's luggage. Their suitcases are in here. So this is going to be a repo. Yeah, Santander Consumer Finance, 2018 Nissan Rogue. See what I mean? Guys, there are so many repos here. We're not, I thought we we're almost done. 
we're not we got two cars deep all the way back there and this video is already too long so i think we're going to end it here at the nissan rogue guys let's just take a quick peek at it i don't i'm not digging through other people's stuff like if i win the car if we were to buy this and this becomes ours that's different you know oh really what were they doing hiding drugs up under here or something what oh wow 67,000 miles guys 67,000 miles are you serious unbelievable it, it, it i i can't i just can't i can't imagine why people do this somebody looks like they had just had to move out or something you know what i mean there's some there's some nikes down in there i mean luggage on the other side 69,000 mile car from post oak toyota great reputable dealership out here you know there, there's your luggage you got more luggage you got more luggage like it's a bad situation man you know somebody literally obviously was packed up in this car and they're already in a bad time you know they're in a bad place or whatever and bam tow truck driver comes to get the car and here's why i think a lot of people don't understand repossessions are not like they used to be used to these guys had to come find you you know and if you ran around enough they couldn't find you and you get away you could get away for years in a car with a repossession it ain't, it ain't like that anymore guys i'm gonna explain that here in just a second it runs good i i would i would take this on i'd replace the seat clean it out i would take this one on Sixty-seven thousand miles absolutely tpms light no big deal that may go away with just airing up the tire. It's out of gas, of course. Runs good. Gears forward, yes. Backward, yes. Air conditioning, real quick, let's try it out. Give that a minute to kick on. Important window, yes. Less important window, yes. The, the other thing I hate about these are, uh, I don't think they use CBT transmissions. I'm fairly certain these all Nissans are CVTs, and I absolutely hate CVT transmissions. Yes, the air conditioning works as I figured it would. Uh, I expected everything to work on this. It's relatively low miles. Um, repossessions are different now. See, used to, uh, a financial institution that you owed money to would call uh, a company to do the repossession, and they would have to go and find you and then repo the car, right? It was one company. It's not like that anymore. These new tow trucks have uh, plate readers, just like the police cars do. They literally have cameras attached to the corners, front and rear of them. And what they do is in real time, as they're rolling through, think for a minute, guys, if you've ever seen them, I'm sure you have, you'll see these weird trucks, vehicles. Some of them are tow trucks. Some of them are just regular vehicles with cameras mounted on the, all over them, on the front, on the back, on the sides. You see them, those are plate readers. So they'll send a spotter out in something like this and it'll have those weird cameras attached to it you'll see them rolling through walmart and you're wondering what the hell is that you see them rolling through an apartment complex and you're wondering what the hell is that you see them driving down the road what they're doing is these spotters you no longer have to hire one company to repossess the car and only that one company is looking for you now it goes in a national database right and all these tow truck people all these repo agents that have the cameras on their cars they ride through apartment complexes walmart dollar general dollar tree mcdonald's burger king you name it they are riding around all day just reading license plates and if they pick up one that shows an active repo it's in the national database guys they can literally go in there and say boom i'm taking this repo and they will send a guy out or a gal with a truck to come pick it up it's that easy <laughs> this is they changed the game with these cameras these plate readers guys they changed the game so getting away with a repossession car anymore if you have plates on it and you really have to to drive it right if you've got plates 
good luck because your time is limited. With that, I'm going to get out of here, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button and let me know. Be sure to drop your comments below and tell me what you think of my idea of picking up some newer model, hopefully still relatively cheap, newer model repossession cars, bringing them to the channel, cleaning them up, doing what needs done to them, and trying to sell them back through an auction, hoping that we can make a profit. If you're interested in that, I would love to know. Till next time, stay safe out there, everybody. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.